Now, what's interesting is to start to get to the detail around this, it's no point going to the BBC because they're simply not going to cover this. Uh, you've got to go to other channels. They're just fucking nicking anyone. Literally, any fucking one. I continue to be concerned by the scale and spread of the virus. COVID-19, especially the new variant, is spreading quickly across the country. This puts many people at risk of serious disease and is placing a lot of pressure on our NHS. Once more, we must all stay home. Ah. What have you done, mate? This is so wrong. What have you done, Santa? This is so wrong. <laughs> now the Chinification of Europe because we see what is happening in China right now with the social credit score where the government is monitoring and uh, surveilling all the people from the beginning to end everything that they do everything everywhere where they walk ev it's every you know they control everything and they, they, they watch everything 
This is the example of a tyranny. When the government knows everything about you, where you go, what you eat, where you, where you enter, that's the tyrannical system. And we've seen the system being implemented right now under the leadership of Ursula von der Leyen, slowly but surely in the, in the, in the European Union. The green certificate was, was just the first step. There are a few more proposals right now under debate in the parliament. The European wallet ID, for example, the European social security card, all these things that are creating a system that will monitor, control, supervise, and condition the rights of all the European citizens. Just yesterday, before yesterday actually, on Monday, in the plenary, we had the commissioner for work. And he said, well, we need the social, European social security card number, pass, as he called it, certificate, to facilitate the freedom of movement. You know, we heard this before with the green certificate. So they use this is the same narrative. And I invite you guys as journalists, just watch what they say and what they do. Because there's a 180 degree difference from what they say and what they promise and what they are committing to in front of the plenary and what the end result is. When the green certificate was implemented, again, the commissioner said on record that this is to facilitate the freedom of movement, and that's it. Even in the case that someone does not have this green certificate, the regulation allows you to freely travel from one country to another. The problem is when you arrive in a certain country, you will have to follow certain medical restrictions, you know, like quarantine and others. So from what we were told back then in April and May, look where we are right now. So I'm glad that you asked this question, and I invite all the journalists from Europe and from the world to see what is happening here. Because we should not allow this. We should not forget that the European Union was created in a total opposition of the Soviet Union. Huge explosion now, raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way!